Marcus, managing director at Quartz Power Group, is presenting a relocation plan to his departmental managers. Morning, everyone. Morning. 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 Thank you for coming, especially at such short notice. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so I'll try not to take up too much of your time. Right. So, as you know from the brief that I emailed you round, the board have made a final decision on relocation. Now, I am aware of the inevitable rumours surrounding this decision, which is why I'm keen to uh, take action as quickly as possible to prevent any further speculation. So, as you're aware, there were a, a few options on the table, and the board has, in the end, chosen what I think is the most practical and sensible. As you will see from the brief that I sent round, the board have decided to move all head office operations from this location to the company's Littlemore branch. Now, I'm sure that you've all got opinions mm -hmm. on such a move, but the aim of this session is not to debate the pros and cons any further. You all understand the issues and the, the need to cut costs, and as I've said before, the option to relocate is by far the best option. So the first thing I need us to understand is the office move is definitely going ahead. The decision has been made, and there's no going back. Now today, I'd like to talk to you about how we implement this plan. Now, I understand that relocation on this scale does have a huge impact on everyone in the organization, which is why we need to approach it with sensitivity and good forward planning. So I'm going to go through three points. First of all, I'll talk about the key dates and outline a basic schedule for us all to follow. Secondly, I'll cover some potential changes to our working practices that the move may throw up. And finally, I want to discuss how the plan should be presented to all the staff and what we should anticipate in terms of their immediate concerns. So, let's start with the key dates. The lease on this building ends on March the 31st. So we have 12 months from tomorrow to relocate. So the last department to move is IT because they need to uh, keep a few of their staff here until the 31st. So that more or less covers the schedule. Now I know that it's a big operation but as long as we keep to the dates that I've shown, I think it should all run fairly smoothly. I mean, obviously there will be a need for you to set your own departmental deadlines, but that's something you can do internally. Now this brings me to my second point and the issue of working practices. Imagine the following scenario. Over the next 12 months, I've asked Paul to take all the necessary steps towards developing a flexi-time policy, and he'll be contacting each of the departments in due course. So, to sum up, I really believe that this is a chance for us to step back and refresh our current working practices, bringing us in line with the growing trend to work from home and to work more flexibly. So let's move on to the last point in the presentation, which I suspect you will all be most concerned about. How are we going to present this relocation plan to everyone? And remember, this move doesn't only affect the staff here at head office. It also affects all the people who work at the Littlemore site already. It is extremely important that we keep the staff informed and involved throughout the process. So, to sum up, the key to keeping people on side is openness 
and good communication channels. Okay, well, let's leave that there for now, shall we? So that is the end of my presentation. And the next thing you need to do is put the plan into action. <laughs> So over the next few months and weeks, you are going to face some obvious challenges. This relocation will be an upheaval for some, but it will be a refreshing change for others. But as I pointed out in my presentation, we have ample time and a realistic schedule. I actually think there will be benefits in terms of streamlining departments, um, and improving and modernizing our working practices. And finally, as long as we all present a unified front on this and explain things clearly to staff, there is no reason why anybody should feel unfairly treated. So it's over to you. Do you have any questions? Maya.